Hi guys, it's Alice. It's been a while since I've done a video, but um, I wanted to just do a quick Dollar Tree video for you guys. Um, my kids all went back to school today. Well, three of my four went back to school today, and um, their schedules are a little bit different now. So I have two still in elementary and one in junior high now. And between the elementary and the junior high, by the time they get out, there's an hour gap. And so I thought, well, I'm going to need something to do. Let me just go to Dollar Tree and pick up a few things that I really needed. So um, I'm going to show you guys that today. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's just get started. So um, the first things, I'll start with the food so I can get that out of the way. I picked up a few snacks for the kids' lunch. Um, and I do apologize um, I do apologize for um, this tacky background. My house is like in shambles right now. Kids are going back to school trying to get things clean and order and it's just a mess. And I'm trying to redecorate, take down stuff from, you know, the spring and the summer and trying to kind of give my house a spring cleaning, fall cleaning. I don't know what you would call it. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to just fix things up right now. So I'm like, let me just hide in my closet. I'm sure you guys don't mind. I mean, my dresser's behind me. I got my clothes right here. So... I'm sure you guys probably don't mind, but anyway, so let me go ahead and just get started. So I picked up these um, crackers, snack pack, snack time, snack pack, saltine crackers, and these are just um, regular, like the, I believe they're like a knockoff Ritz, and they do come three in a pack, so you get three packs of uh, these Ritz or knockoff crackers, so I picked up those for the kids, and these were my, um, this one was one of the kids' picks. And these are just, the, they're the Delicious Deals by Mrs. Freshly Buddy Bars. Peanut Butter Buddy, Peanut Butter Buddy Bars. You get eight, um, there's eight counts, so there's four packs, two in each pack. So the kids picked up these for their little snack. I don't know, if it, maybe I'll put it in their lunch or um, like an after school snack. And then they also picked up these strawberry wafers. You get 20, and in each pack there's two, so there's uh, five packs, so two, four, six, Eight to ten, and then the back. Um, there's another ten back here. So we really like those a lot. Um, and I picked up these for my daughter, my junior high daughter, for her lunches. Um, they do charge two fifty a day for lunch. So if she's not able to get free lunch, I'm probably just going to be packing her lunches. But um, I thought this would be good for her. You get six um, six granola bars, and they're just by select choice. And they're, they just say chewy rainbow chip. And I don't know if you could see, there's like little rainbow little rainbow chips in there. Like little chocolate chip rainbow chips. So I got those for my daughter. And then um, we ran out of marshmallows. So we like to put these in our hot chocolate and just do other stuff with them. So we needed a bag of those. Pick that up. Also pick that we ran out of hot ramen. And you get a uh, five pack in here. So that's not a bad deal. Buy for a dollar. So I picked up a pack of Top Ramen. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried, but this is one thing we like to do. Okay. Um, you guys, I don't know who's... Comment below if any of you have ever tried this. So sometimes we get really lazy and we kind of don't want to make dinner. Like nobody wants to make dinner. So we kind of... I don't know if like we created it or if it was just something we kind of um, added on to something else. But what we do is sometimes on lazy days we'll make super noodles. And we just kind of, my husband, he's like an awesome cook, and he, this is a lazy meal that we make. Just in case you guys want to ma ever make this on a lazy, um, cold day. Top ramen, he puts, um, oh my gosh, what did he put in it? He put, like, chopped up, um, sausage, or not sausage, but, like, the hot link, but not the hot ones, like the, like the bratwurst. And then vegetables, and we put eggs in it, um, like, scrambled eggs. And then, um... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what else he put in it. But it's just like this smorgasbord of stuff. And it's so good. So if you guys ever want to, you know, make something quick and you don't want to really cook, lazy noodles. They're really, really yummy. Anyways, moving on. We love this stuff. The strawberry applesauce. I picked up two packs. Um, we love this. This is so good. If you guys have never tried this, pick one up and try it for yourself. It's just... It's plain and simple strawberry applesauce. It is so yummy. We love this stuff. And the Dollar Tree is the only place that I've ever seen it at. So, um, actually, I have, if I'm not mistaken, I have seen it at Grocery Outlet, I want to say. But it's cheaper at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked these up for my daughter for her lunch. We just got one in the Crush Strawberry and one in Strawberry Lemonade. I'm probably going to steal some of these from her because I love these a lot. But you get 10 in this pack and... 
Oh, this one only has six, but that's okay. I'll probably go back and get more of these, but we really like these a lot. So I picked up that for her. And, oh, one more thing I picked up were the Penny Sticks brand pretzel sticks. Um, these are good to have for snack for the kids for after school or to put in their lunch. So I want to pick that up for them as well. And then moving on to, let's see, just like bathroom stuff or whatever. So I picked up a hand soap. I mean, it's not like the best quality. It's like a knockoff version of the, what is it? Um... Oh my gosh, I, I don't know. I'm sure you guys know what the knockoff version for this one is. But it works pretty good and it lasts a while. So, running out. So, I picked up a bottle of that. And we do, for some reason, I like the burning sensation. I don't know, maybe, maybe because it makes me feel like my mouth is like super clean and fresh. But I have a hard time with mouthwash. Like, I'm really picky with mouthwash. But this one actually is not that bad. And it's just by the Shirt brand. A lot of their... um like band-aids and medicines and stuff like that are by this brand so there's this is the assured brand antiseptic mouth rinse mouth rinse in the spring mint and i did pick up two of these so i'm trying to get my kids i was buying them like the kitty mouthwash but i was noticing that really wasn't doing anything it was just flavored so i had them start using um the big people mouthwash and they actually like it and then my daughters picked this for their bathtub and it's just um red apple body wash and it's 18 fluid ounces and it's kind of the consist consistency, oh my goodness, I can't even talk today. Oh, good lord, I can't even open this. Like, it has a nice apple-y smell, but the consistency, you can see, it's, like, really watery. It is not, like, good quality at all. But it does the job, it's only a dollar, and for my two young girls, it's not that bad. Because I'm, I'm not going to spend $5 on a bottle of body wash. This one is my son's, he picked this one up, and he loves this one, he actually just ran out. And this is the Minions Body Wash. And if you guys haven't seen this one yet, and if it's at your dollar store, pick it up. Even for yourself, it smells so yummy. Like the the little um, banana candies, if you guys ever seen them? I, I don't know who makes them. I'm not sure who's the brand. Wonka, I think, is the brand. Um, They're like the little banana, like little banana coated, yellow coated banana candies. Anyways, that's what they remind me of, and they smell like them. So, Minions Body Wash for my son. Just picked up a bottle of soap for my husband. This one, I mean a bottle of soap. Good lord. Two pack of body bars for my husband. And then I just picked up um extra toothpaste because we were running out. This is just like until I can get to the store and actually buy my husband the one that he really uses and really likes. This is just kind of to hold him off, you know, hold him for a couple of days. It's kind of like a backup body wash. He doesn't really he's not into like expensive things or like high-end things but there are certain things that I do like to get him that are good quality I don't like to get everything for my family at the Dollar Tree for myself I don't care but when it comes to like my husband um I like to get him the good stuff but anyway so I picked up this for me and I love their these I love these soap bars this one is the oatmeal and verbena soap by Sugar Soapworks and it's a pretty big bar seven ounces I really love these they last a long time they smell super yummy and oh, if you guys could smell it's like very lemony i can't really pick up the oatmeal in there but it's very lemony it's very beautiful i love it it's a subtle scent it smells so yummy and yeah this one's for me not allowed and then nobody else is allowed to use my soaps i like my soaps for me and then this one i just picked up an extra bottle i'm sorry i don't know if you guys could see that this is the tropical scent perfume tropical oh tropical scent body wash and it's 14 ounces and i I like it. It smells pretty nice. It's very, um, kind of reminds me of, like, mandarin oranges. I like it. Excuse me for a second. I need some coffee. My favorite cup. My sister-in-law got me this at Disneyland, and I'm an Alice in Wonderland freak. A Disney freak and a mug collector. So, FYI. Anywho. Picked up a few things for the house. Um, Tissue, just a box of tissue, and this is a 160 count Scotty's two ply. It does say plus 33 percent bonus. It does look a little fatter than the normal tissue boxes that they usually have. So I just picked up a box of tissue for the house, and I should have probably picked up a few more. I'll probably go back and get more, but not right now. Any, let's see. I picked up this cute little pack of sticky notes for me, for my planner, or for my notebook, whatever I'm going to use it for. And it's 25 sheets each removable repositional and it just says sticker notes 
It doesn't have like a name brand or anything, but this is the, the, the design in watercolors. Sorry. And then, um, oh, this was my, one of my daughter's picks. This little Lisa Frank, um, coloring book. And then let's see. I am, my daughter, like I said, my, my middle daughter is in junior high and she had a, she has like a bag with her PE clothes in it. And, um, this was one of the things I needed to get her. So this is just a little hairbrush with a little comb out brush that I picked up for her for when she gets out of PE she can comb her hair if she needs to fix it for anything and excuse me but I'm sitting on the floor and my leg is going to sleep and not good okay where were we I oh I also picked up these I thought they were super cute and they're just the oops the erasers and one of them matches actually I think they all match this pack right here I thought it was cute watercolor erasers so i'll probably give my daughters a couple and then maybe keep one of them and then i picked up so i redid my daughter's room um yesterday and the day before i was working on it kind of revamped it a little bit i have a 10 year old and a 9 year old and i wanted the room to kind of look a little more tweenish and not so babyish and so i kind of fixed it up put in a little desk for them fixed it up for like their homework station to do you know arts and crafts or whatever and uh, they have a dry erase board but they didn't have the markers and I found these in this colors these colors I normally only see them like in black blue and red but this one is yellow orange purple and pink and it's just by the jot brand and you get four markers and so I thought they were really cute and for my girls I thought those colors would be nice and I picked these up for me um, I used to, when my daughters were smaller, and my son wasn't even in school yet, I think he was like in preschool, I used to volunteer, for a couple of years I volunteered at the PTO, and then the last two years I just didn't do it, but this year I decided to come back because they really need a lot of help, and there's really nobody there, so I decided to help again, and for that I picked up a notebook, the school colors are blue and yellow, so I thought this notebook was really pretty, it's just simple, something I can write all my notes in, and then um, that's what I picked up these highlighters for so that I could take notes and you know, highlight, color code, everything. And why is this looking so yellow? I'm so sorry for... Yeah, I look very yellow right now. I don't know what's going on. So I picked up that. I picked up this for the PTO. And I just, you know, you guys have probably seen these. This is the student planner. I don't really care for the design much, but I needed a little... Um, notebook to you know write down dates important dates for the school and things like that so I picked up this and I'll probably use these to go with it so that is for my PTO and another thing that I picked up which I thought was really cool at first I thought it was just this little um pocket sleeve where you can put you know little things in here but it's actually a folder so I thought that was really cool I'm I kind of wish that it had like the, you know, the, what are they called? The things where you, little prong holes where you can put paper in. That would have been really cool, but it doesn't. But it's okay. But I like it. I still like it because it's an envelope. I mean, an envelope. It's a folder, but it in the front, it has this little envelope sleeve, so which is really neat. Um, I really like that. So that's going to be part of my PTO stuff. I picked up some extra paper clips. I needed these colors for some projects, and so I got that. I'm almost finished. I did get this polka dot. You guys, I don't even need this. But it's black and white and it's polka dot. And it matches my stuff. So, whatever. I'll find something. Maybe a makeup bag or something. Actually, it would be kind of a cute makeup bag. It's clear. Anyways, it was black and white and polka dot. I just thought it was cute. This I picked up for my daughter's dresser. Their little table that I just told you about. Um, It's a... What is it called? It says corrugated file holder, but it's like those little file thingies. Let me show you guys. They probably already know what this is, but I just want to show you anyway. I like the pattern. It's really cute. It's like a teal, not teal, like a mint, and a very light purple, like a lavender. It's really cute. Let me just put this together for you guys real fast so you can see. I'm sure you already know what it is, but I want to show you anyway. So there. So they can put on their dresser with little notebooks or, you know, if they're working on homework or a color book or something. I don't know. They could just put it in there. Whatever. Moving on. This is just a rebuy. I get these a lot. I put these in the bathroom for the kids' mouthwash. And I bought the little canister holder at Walmart. 
in the section where they have like the paper towels and stuff. And um, I think it was like five or six dollars. And sometimes, actually, guys, okay, so this is a 36 count. If you go to Walmart and get the pack that's like two something, you actually get more for your money because I did the math and it, you get more. Like, if you were to buy three packs of those, you get more, more, um, of the cups than if you were to buy three of these for $3. And it's like a couple cents cheaper at Walmart, and you get more. So just an FYI, sometimes it's not always cheaper at Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree is a lot more fun. This, I don't really care for the paisley. I'm not a paisley kind of person. The, the color baby blue is like, eh, it's alright. But this cup is amazing. So I had bought this cup back in the spring, I'm going to say spring, when they first came out with like the little chevron and whatever. They had like a pink, green, teal, and purple, and I got the teal chevron. So I took it with me to Disneyland, I filled this sucker up to the rim with ice every day, and then um, ice from the ice machine at the hotel, and then we would go into the parks, and they do get free ice waters. So I was just filling this up with ice waters all day long. And this thing is amazing. It's BPA free. Um, don't know if you can dishwash it. But I'm pretty sure you can. But it is BPA free. So I do like that. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of the paisley or the baby blue. But it was either this or green or purple. And I'm not a fan of green or purple either. But you know what? I probably could have picked up the green one. Because the green one was really cute. But anyway, so I just picked up. Oh, so getting back to why I repurchased this. I had put it in the sink because I wanted to wash it a few days ago. And then I went to make dinner. I was making pasta. And like a dummy, I poured the hot water in the sink. But I didn't know this was there. And when I went to grab it, it like melted halfway in. So kind of made it like an indentation. And now it looks like a skinny. Kind of looks like this. Like really awkward and weird. And it just, the shape kind of just stayed like that. And I was kind of really bummed out. So I picked up another one because I really love this. And I like it because it fits in most of my purses. It's a good size. I mean, and I like this because I can just drink it. And it's not like a little spout or a straw or thing, nothing like that. Um, Yeah, it's really amazing. This is like my favorite, favorite buy right now at the Dollar Tree. If I see a pink one in a different pattern, I'm, I am going to go back and get another one. Foil because we were out. This is for my daughter's table. For um, their pins and their little, what are those things called? Dry erase, mar dry erase markers that I just bought. So I'm going to put some pins and markers in there for their table. And then, oh, I picked up another one of these. This one is in, this is this is the Sugar Free Wild Purple Smash. And you get eight packs. This one is oh, so good. I love these things. Alright guys, I'm almost finished. This was my son's pick. He actually got two of these. He got a pack of these and a pack of the green ones. I like these because they're big and they're not like the little itty bitty ones where he can lose. And he uses these a lot. So that was his pick. And then, okay, so a few of, a few things that I picked up for myself was, I picked up these. Everyone's been raving about them and I thought I'd give them a try. I ran out and I wanted to go ahead and give these ones a try. So I picked them up. If you've guys, if you've guys, okay, if any of you have purchased these and if you have anything good or bad to say about them, just leave me a comment, let me know. Um, I'd like to see what your thoughts are. I'm not sure how well they cleanse, um, how good they are for your skin, whatever, I just needed them, so I bought them. And then this one I also seen somebody purchase, um, and I wanted to give it a try. I wasn't sure what it was, but the back of it, it says, okay, so this is black soap. Made with shea butter, and it says extracted using traditional methods from nuts of the African karite tree. Shea butter has been known for years to be one of the best treatments for stretch marks, wrinkles, dry skin, and various other skin conditions. Shea butter penetrates deep into the skin to heal and moisturize. This deep epidermal penetration provides a long-lasting protection and overall rejuvenation of the skin. Directions, wet hands or body with warm water for best results. Apply soap gently to skin massage. So basically, it's just supposed to be good for your skin. Um, it's not black. It's gray. I don't know. This is my first time like, looking at it, trying it, smelling it. So let's see. Mm, it has like a really nice, set, subtle smell. Mm, I can smell the shea butter in there. That smells amazing, actually. Why would they call it black soap? There's not even anything black in here. Like, I was thinking like a black bar of soap. It smells really good. 
we'll see how this works if any of you have tried this let me know tell me if you like it um i'm gonna give it a try for a few maybe about a week and see if i notice anything and then maybe i'll let you guys know if not you'll just have to take a guess if not, I mean, if I do like it, maybe I'll go back and get a few more. Because this is new to my store. I have not seen this before. But I have seen it on a few other hauls. And I'm almost finished. This Sure Fresh, of course, it has to be in pink. Round. It says small round Sure Fresh container. But what I like about this is I had picked up a few of these containers probably about a year ago at Burlington. And it's the kind that has the little ice packs in it. And mine kind of got all grossed out and nasty, so I just threw them all away. But I like this. It has this little ice pack. And let's see if I can pop it out. Yes, you can. You put this in your freezer. And then once it gets frozen, you pop it into the top. It just pops in place like that. And you can put your fruit or like maybe like a small, I don't know. If you eat a small salad, you can put a small salad in there. But I was thinking using this for fruit um, to pop in my bag or, you know, in my purse when I'm in the car ride and I need a light snack. And it's pink and it's round and I can... Throw it in my, my Betsy Johnson lunch bag. It's super cute and it matches. So they did have like an oval shape and they had little square ones. Um, but this hot pink right now is is really pretty. And they have a lot of hot pink containers at my Dollar Tree. And I was going to go crazy but I had to walk away. Because I don't need any containers right now. But And this is the last um, my last purchase. This is the Resort Aloha Blossom scented candle. And you guys have probably seen this. Um... I've seen these around, and I wanted to give one a try. They had, like, different scents. This one smells really pretty. Very floral, very perfumey. Uh, apple -y. I don't know why it smells apple to me. It's really, really pretty. It makes me think of, like, um, Febreze or something, like a flowery Febreze. But I'm not a big candle fan. I like um, the wax melts. I have wax melts in every room in my house. Literally, like, my bedroom, my bathroom, my kitchen, my son's room. I need to get one for my girls' room and for my living room. Those two don't have one yet. So, yeah. And you know what? They do sell wax melts at the Dollar Tree, and I was testing them out. They, they're not they're not worth the dollar. They only come, like, this tiny little box, and you get four for a dollar, and they don't smell good. They really don't smell good. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, you guys, so that's it for today. I don't have any um anything else to show you. I do have a... Michael's... A small Michael's and a thrift store that I want to show you guys so I'll probably do that tomorrow or Wednesday another day not today so my goodies will just have to sit in my closet until I'm ready to show you guys but anyways sorry I've been gone for a while I took the summer off um to just hang out with my kids and do stuff with my kids I haven't done any really big Dollar Tree shopping sprees uh, things I've been doing is just like you know buying stuff for the house and things like that um we are going back to Disneyland in a couple months for December well, in December for my birthday and two of my daughter's birthdays and for Christmas. And um, I am going to be repurchasing items. Oh, my hair is a hot mess. I am going to be repurchasing some items from the Dollar Tree, some, some favorites and some new things that I have on my list. So maybe I'll do a Disneyland Dollar Tree video for you guys in a couple of months. So uh, as I collect all my goodies, you know, maybe I'll post it. But not anytime soon. That's just something I have in mind. But let's see. Um...